Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Cancer and Virgo-only channel, and then I have my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for those are in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, I do have a tarot tutorial. If you would like to check it out, the link is below. It's about two and a half hours long. To book a personal reading with me, the link is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I currently have Spirit Shield, Tarot, and Oracle. Buy one, get one free. And then I've got Royal Rose Tarot, which is 20% off, okay? All right, my little lion cubs. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get popping here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, okay? Okay. All right, so we've got the Divine Feminine. We've got Intimacy. And we've got distance. Okay. So Leo, please keep in mind, this could be your side. This could be your side. You take it as it resonates. So what I'm feeling here is that this is going to be the side of the divine feminine Leo. Okay. Now I feel like the feminine wants to open up in a bonding energy in a sensual way, but I feel like the feminine feels the need to wait. Okay. I'm feeling an energy of wanting to go very slow. Reason being is because this divine feminine has experienced, um, a lot of pain every time they open their heart here, Virgo, uh, Virgo, Leo, <laughs> every time they, they open their heart here, Leo. Okay. Um, so there is a feminine energy that feels that every time they become vulnerable, every time they open their heart to love, whoever they're giving their heart to destroys it. And, and there's a sense of pain here. Okay. There is a sense of pain here. So, you know, we have a divine feminine that does wish to open their heart. They do yearn for love or, uh, you know, to give and receive love in a healthy way. But there's a feminine here that may be coming off a little guarded or cold. My nose is itching. I think that means that you're going to get a visitor or something. I don't know. All right, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So we've got the five of wands and we have the ten of cups. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the judgment card and we've got the world card. Tell me about Leo, please. The Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Nine of Wands and the King of Swords. You see? Okay. So Leo, I'm going to read this like it's your side because that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting for the majority of the collective. So you, you take it as it resonates though. Okay. So Leo, I feel like there is something that is either happening in your love life or about to come in for you. And I feel like it's going to, you know, there's a lot of love here between you and this person, but with the five of wands, there's almost an energy of fighting with yourself because it's like, don't do this again. Don't put all 10 of your cups on, you know, don't put your heart on your sleeve. Don't do this again. You've learned your lesson here. You've learned your lesson and you made this decision to wait and to go slow and let the person that's pursuing you work to build a solid foundation. 
okay? So Leo, there's something inside of you that's a little frustrated because maybe you're sexually frustrated or maybe it's difficult for you to not really go all in and put your heart on your sleeve, okay? You know, being in this energy closed off, a little cold, a little guarded, trying to, you know, operate more on an intellectual level than off of your passions and your heart space may be a little difficult for you. But with temperance here and the nine of cups, Leo, it is kind of nice to sit back and let someone work for you for a change. It is kind of nice to, you know, go a little slow and watch somebody really work for your love or for your attention, okay? Um, again, I mean, I, I do feel like it stresses you out, Leo, because you kind of feel like you're being somebody that you're not, you know, um, it, it does stress you out because you don't want this person to think that you don't want them. It's kind of like we all have our way of doing things and expressing love. Like you have a love language, right, Leo? You know, some of you may be touchy feely. Others of you may be you like to give your person gifts. That's how you express express your love. You know, whatever your uh, love language is, Leo, you're not doing it. Okay, you're not expressing love in a way that you normally express it because you're wanting to hold back and let someone fight for you or show you that they are truly serious and committed to you before you go ahead and show your love language, okay? This is very different with the death card than anything you've ever done before. But I feel that, Leo, you know, you got to a place in your life where you started asking yourself, okay, is it me? Am I the problem? What am I doing wrong? Okay, maybe I'm going too fast. Maybe I'm putting my heart on my sleeve too fast. Maybe I need to sit back and let people work for me for a change, okay? After all, I am the divine feminine and I'm looking for a masculine energy. And, you know, a masculine energy is the hunter. A masculine energy is the one who conquers. A masculine energy is the one who goes after what they want, where a feminine energy uh, sits and attracts that. Okay. So, you know, Leo, I feel like, you know, be still and know that I am God, right? So you're staying still and letting, you know, things attract to you, but it is difficult. Um, you know, for many of you, this could be you balancing out your feminine and masculine energies or making an attempt to come out of a masculine energy. So Leo, we all have feminine and masculine energy, all of us. You could be a female that was sitting in masculine energy and you're trying Trying to move more into your feminine energy and you know this is the process of releasing that masculinity releasing that need to control releasing that need to uh, you know jump through hoops and work for things that is the masculine energy's job okay so let's see here tell me about the five of wands and the strength card yeah you have to sit here every minute like you're walking in a store and you might see something that you know this person would like Leo, this is you, the strength card, okay? This is you using your better judgment and fighting those impulses, fighting those urges and saying, no, Leo, no, sit your booty down, okay? <laughs> sit, let it go, let it go, Leo, okay? You don't need to buy them this or you don't need to do that. You don't need to do anything. Tell me about the 10 of cups here for Leo and the lover's card, Adam, Eve, and the snake, okay? We could be dealing with a Sagittarius, we could be dealing with a Gemini, we could be dealing with another Leo, um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Leo, this is a beautiful connection that you are either in or that is coming towards you. And Leo, with Adam, Eve, and the snake, there's the energy. I, I don't feel like this is a third party vibe. I think that that snake energy is the need to want to slip into masculine energy when you're trying to sit in your feminine energy, okay? And Leo, I think that you're making the right decisions. You're staying strong. You're fighting that need, you know? You're fighting that need. I feel that Leo, with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Judgment card, 
you made this solid decision with yourself that if you meet someone new and if you find yourself in a relationship again, you're going to focus on being more in your feminine energy. Okay. And Leo, you're doing it even though it's difficult with the world card here and the full card, Leo, this is you having learned a lesson, completed a cycle, starting a new chapter in your life. And you know, this is a new journey for you. It's a new beginning for you. You know, for some of you, your new year's resolution could have been, I want to sit more in my feminine energy. I, I want to worry less about chasing and jumping through hoops and focus more on attracting you know, love, abundance, taking care of myself, taking care of my appearance, you know, just being a, a girly girl, maybe. Okay. Um, you know, uh, so I feel like it's a struggle, but you're doing it, Leo. Okay. Tell me about the three of pentacles and the magician Virgo Gemini energy. Leo, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised because you have someone here that's doing nothing short, but pulling a whole rabbit out of their ass to impress you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With the, you know, the magician, the magician is known to be manipulation. The, mani the magician is known to be witchcraft. What a lot of people don't talk about is that the magician in a love reading could be someone going all in. Okay. Because this magician has all four suits on the table. Okay. So what you have here, Leo, is somebody that is coming towards you with love, passion, communication, dropping money on you for a change. Okay. You know, buying you gifts, spoiling you, taking you out to dinner. Um, you know, you have have, uh, someone here with the sword that's that's honest that takes action uh, they plan things this is somebody that moves you know they don't just speak they move all right and with that three of Pentacles energy what you have here is you keeping your distance you just you know to just just staying and and letting things come to you and what you have is somebody that is building a solid foundation around you and leo we're ending here with the king to the queen of pentacles so look at how many soulmate cards we have here the king to the queen of pentacles is a true pair and it's a soul tie energy we've got the lovers card which is a soulmate energy the ten of cups which is a soulmate energy okay this is absolutely gorgeous you know, this is you making the right decisions and, you know, <clears throat> stepping into your feminine power and allowing yourself to be chased and conquered and, you know, <clears throat> allowing a masculine energy to be in their masculine energy while you sit in your feminine energy. Tell me, uh, and guys, this could be reversed, okay? Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay, yeah, oh, nice. Okay, loyalty, nourish, and clinging. So what you're doing here, Leo, by sitting in your feminine energy is you have someone here um, that wants you to believe in them. They want you to rely on them. They want you to trust them. Okay. Because you're not jumping through hoops for this person. You're showing this person that I have boundaries, you know, whatever my reasons are for having these boundaries. Some of you may have communicated to this person that you've been through a lot in your past in love. Others of you didn't feel it was necessary. You have your boundaries up. There's a reason why you're acting this way. There's a reason why you're not willing to go all in. And what you have is someone that is loyal and devoted to you because their eyes are are on you and only you because they haven't like conquered you yet. This is someone that wants growth in the connection. They're focused on the connection. You know, they, they want to nourish it, Leo. They want to plant seeds with you and watch it grow. They want to plant positive uh, energy into this connection and watch it grow. This is someone that's obsessed with you. This is someone that holds on to you. Um, I, I feel like with conflict here and soulmates, you know, I, I feel like this this is a beautiful energy because it does say uh, incompatibility here, but I don't feel that. I feel like you guys are different. You're operating in a beautiful feminine energy. This person's operating in a beautiful masculine energy. It clashes, yet it melts together at the same time, okay? And with soulmates here, this is turning into a beautiful, deep love, a unity, a connection here, okay? 
All right, so let's see what we have. <clears throat> Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Yeah, see, the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So Leo, you know, this is someone that it's moving slow. Like every night after the date, you may send this person home. You're not quick to jump into bed with this person. Or Leo, it's like, you know, things are, are moving slowly between you and this person. You know, they want to prove to you that they're loyal. They want to prove to you that they will show up every day. This person's yearning for your trust, okay? Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone that is turning their back on third-party energies, their friends, other things to focus on you and only you because they want to plant that seed of love in your heart, okay, Leo? With the Two of Cups here, you are a challenge to this person, okay? You are a challenge to this person. You're not chasing after them. You're not, uh, you know, Know, sitting in that energy of, oh, do I need to, you know, oh, does he like blonde hair? I'll go and change my hair blonde. Or, oh, does he like this? I'll go change myself and be like this. No, you know, you're sitting in your power. You're standing in your power, knowing your worth and saying, listen, I'm here. If I look like something that you want, show me. Don't tell me. Don't talk to me. Don't lead me on. Don't string me on. Show me because I'm not moving until I feel comfortable enough to move. Like I, I'm not going to move for you or do something kind for you, or I'm not going to, you know, put my heart on my sleeve until you show me it's safe to. And this person's trying to create that safe environment for you, Leo. Tell me about Leo, please. <clears throat> 10 of wands. Yeah. This person is really going above and beyond Leo. Okay, this person just loves you so much they can't even take it, okay? They can't even take it. You have this person wanting to win at all costs. This person with the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant Leo, I feel like they will eventually propose. I feel like this is someone we could be dealing with a Taurus. This is somebody that... um an Aries, did I say Aries? Uh, this is someone that is definitely... Because they're working for your love, they're valuing you. You see, you know, <clears throat> if we have to work all day for a hundred dollars, we're that hundred dollars, it's like, you know, we really feel that hundred dollars. Now, if someone just gives us a hundred dollars, we'll go and blow it on something because it was free. It's free money. It's free money, you know? So when you give your love away for free and people don't have to work for it or people haven't earned it or, you know, they say trust is earned, respect is earned. It should be love is earned too, right? You know, you're, you're stepping back and letting someone show you how serious they are before you give away the goods. And that's, you know, listen, I don't mean to sound like, you know, whatever, but sometimes the old fashioned traditional ways they just work, you know, they just work. I hate to say it, but they just work, you know? And I feel that Leo, you know, you're feeling very, you know, good about it. <clears throat> okay. You're feeling good about it. It's a little conflicting and it's a little difficult because it's very different for you, but you're feeling good about it. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles here for Leo and the Seven of Cups. This is someone that comes up with all different ideas on where to take you, where to go. They plan things. You know, this is someone that has to come up with new and improved ways on where to take you, what to do, Six of Swords and the Chariot. Yeah, this person's a lot of fun, Leo. They want to take you to different places. They want to show you different things. This person wants your attention, Leo. This is someone that wants to peacock. Like they want to show you how great it would be to be with them. You know, this person will ignore, no, I can't go out with you and drink tonight. I have to go and impress Leo. <laughs> Don't you understand? I have shit to do. I have to go and impress Leo. I got to try to figure out where to take Leo tonight, you know? So this is somebody that like, you know, they want you to be proud of them. Them. They, they, they actually strive to find a place where it will put a smile on your face or will you, where you'll be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. You know, they, they, they ignore other things in their life and they may even spend very good money trying to make you happy. 
tell me about the seven of pentacles here and the three of swords. So Leo, whether you have told this person about your past or not, this is someone that may sense that you've been hurt a lot in the past with the six of cups here. And this person is going above and beyond to show you that they are stable, to show you that they are loyal, to show you that they will put the work in, to show you that, you know, they want to be with you and only you. Tell me about this two of cups and the two of wands with the queen of swords. Okay. So Leo, it is important to not take this too far. Okay. Be careful to not get too comfortable with the temperance card in, you know, like it may get to the point where you get so used to this person doing all the work and you waiting. And even though it's difficult for you to wait, it's starting to feel so good that, you know, you might get comfortable here because this relationship as of right now is all about you. Okay. Which is great, you know, but eventually, you know, this person's going to ask, okay, well, is Leo ever going to like give it up or tell me they love me or show me some type of affection? You know, is, is Leo ever going to, you know, reciprocate just a little bit, you know? So I, I feel like Leo, the warning here is this is good. This is positive. This is healthy, but you got to know when to enough is enough. Okay. You got to know when to say, <clears throat> okay, this person has really, you know, overexerted themselves and really gone above and beyond to show me that they care about me. I could give them a little something, just a little, little something, you know? <laughs> so tell me about this two of wands and this queen of swords. Yeah. The high priestess. So Leo, you know, I, I feel like you're still kind of sitting in little nun mode here. And, uh, and when I say nun mode, maybe some of you guys aren't like giving it up, you know, sexually or whatever, but you're, you're being quiet, you're being reserved or whatever. So Leo, this person may get to the point with the page of wands and the moon card where they're wondering, like, does Leo even care about me? You know, be careful. Cause with the seven of wands and the hanged man, you know, this person may stop doing all these things because they may think that they're just wasting their time that you're not interested. Okay. So, I mean, what you're, again, what you're doing is good and what you're doing is positive, but you know, you, you know, this person really feels like they've put in a lot of work and you, they should have seen some glimmer of hope that, you know, you find them attractive or that you're falling in love or, you know, so don't, don't, don't come off too distant. Don't keep the space going for too long. Okay. Try to use your discernment and try not to, you know, I, I think some of you might be getting comfortable. You're like, oh, this is nice. This is nice here. You know, <clears throat> I'm not used to it. It's a little, <clears throat> it's a little weird, but I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to settle in. I like this. I like this. Now, Leo, I'm not saying that, you know, to step out of your feminine energy and go back to your masculine energy and go, you know, all in. But, you know, you have to give this person a little something and show them that you appreciate what they what they are doing and that you do like them back and you do see it. You know, you got to give them some reason to keep wanting to, you know, be be with you and fight for your love, you know. All right, let's go ahead and do Leo and all 12 signs. Okay, let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about Leo and all 12 signs, please. Tell me about Leo and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces, please. Leo and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces. Okay, if we're dealing with an Aries, we have the Six of Pentacles, we've got the Hanged Man, we've got the Fool card and the Strength card. Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries, be careful because this person, remember how I told you they may stop doing the things that they're doing? Be careful because this Aries is right there and ready to start pulling back, okay? If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Knight of Wands, the Tower, the Two of Cups, and the High Priestess. So Leo, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like a one night stand may lead to an actual love affair. 
okay if we're dealing with a gem or it could lead to a reconciliation okay you might meet up with a taurus and you know someone an ex and you may just hook up and it turns into a reconciliation if we're dealing with a gemini we've got the king of swords we have the devil the knight of swords and the seven of swords um leo if you're dealing with a gemini do not trust this person they're either doing something illegal or this person is very abusive nasty they're they're not showing you their true colors. There's a whole nother side to this person that could potentially be abusive that you don't know about, okay? If we're dealing with a cancer, we've got the five of pentacles, we've got the wheel of fortune, the eight of cups, and the ace of pentacles. So Leo, if you're dealing with a cancer, I feel like um, either you or the cancer has recently left a situation and it's kind of like one of those God bless the broken roads moments because either you left something they left something but i do see this uh, something new starting here and it was it's happening in divine timing it's a blessing it's wish fulfillment everything you and this person have prayed for okay um so either you're walking away or they're walking away from something and you and a cancer could be coming together if we're dealing with another leo we have the nine of wands the king of cups the four of pentacles and the king of wands leo if you're dealing with another Leo, this is somebody that has a lot of love and lust for you, but they're keeping it all to themselves and not showing it. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we have the Two of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Lover's card, and the Moon card. Okay, someone here could be finding out that there's a third party, and as soon as that happens, it is over. It is done. Never to come back together again. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Eight of Swords, the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. So, Leo, if we're dealing with a Libra, this is somebody that wants things to move to a higher level. They want to um, build a solid foundation. They want to go all in, but they're not communicating it. This is someone that's silent. It's, it's like you know, they're crushing on you in their head. They've named your kids already. They've uh, already picked out the wedding hall. They've already done all, they've already looked at houses that you guys are going to buy, but they haven't communicated it to you yet that they want that level of commitment. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got the um, Knight of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Um, so Leo, someone is coming in with an apology, and I feel like when they come in with the apology, they're not going to get the reaction that they expect. Someone here is going to flip out, like lose their shit, okay? Like, you know, so Leo, if you're going in to apologize to a Scorpio, or if a Scorpio is coming in to apologize um, to you, it's almost like someone sees the apology as offensive for some reason like you know after the way you treated me you want to come and say you're sorry like that type of energy okay uh it's someone here is going to lose their mind some ugly things are going to be said um if we're dealing with a sagittarius the nine of pentacles the three of wands the king of pentacles and the page of cups one person wants a relationship the other person wants to be single and may just offer a friendship okay if we're dealing with a capricorn we've got the empress we've got the knight of pentacles the six of cups and the ten of pentacles this is somebody that um, may end up reconnecting with their ex especially if they have been married before or if they've got children with someone else so be careful if we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Justice card, and the Three of Cups. Um, Leo, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone here is sorry. They are currently paying karma for what they did to you. They want to reconcile. I do feel that your answer is no. I don't think that you're going to take this person back. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Death card, the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Um, uh, Leo, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this is someone that is coming forward wanting to know if it's really over because they started talking to someone new that they're interested in. So this is someone that may dip in and be like, hey, listen, I'm just going to check in one last time. Are, are we really over? Because I'm about to go, you know, end up in another relationship here. Okay. All right. So I love you guys so much. This is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Take care, my loves.